welcome to Art Choir Nathan. Our gallery has a long, long history. It started in 1855, and from there it continues through generations and generations of uh, art dealers. My parents, they have, uh, they have started off as drawing dealers. Through their career, they've always bought paintings, but they've never shown it publicly. We came to the conclusion that it would be good to also participate in, in paintings uh, affairs. It's really an honor to be invited to Paris Tableau. I chose the color red and green because it's what uh, the, the, like the second catalog that we produced is also red and green. Most of them are landscapes, so uh, the green of the trees or uh, the green of the vegetation in general really, really comes out thanks to the, the green walls. We have here a very mixed lot of paintings uh, going from the 15th century until the very end of the 19th century. In a very small room, we have a, we, we tried to cover as much the scope and the spirit which the fair wants to represent. The painting by Courbet is a wave painting. There's a lot of energy through that breaking of the wave. And also this particular painting has a, a red sky, which kind of um, adds to the dramatization of the, of the entire composition. We are very happy and proud to present a, a work by Cézanne, which is uh, really the, the spirit of the fair is really to have uh, all master paintings until 1900. And this really comes to the very edge of the spectrum which the, which the fair is, is producing. There in the back is a, a wonderful uh, Delacroix, which is uh, very special because it's of a good friend of his, and he made him wear a, a costume uh, as, as a Turkish man and, and this is very very special it's also in beautiful beautiful condition we really buy what we love most and what we would in a way like to keep as a private collection but uh, of course we can't uh, afford to keep everything so we we move things and that way it develops transition is very important and the nice thing is that my other two sons are also involved the second son, Balthasar, who will also be uh, here working at the gallery, he has been lately doing a lot of research for us at the Witt Library in London. And our youngest son, he has organized some contemporary exhibitions. Even though we grew older, it has always continued that routine, so it's a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs>